got this model from my friend Fouad. I've been following his work for a few years and he does amazing shapes and crazy weird helmets and football dudes and alien blobby things and, and he, he experiments a lot. He experiments with lots of different software. He mainly uses 3D coat but um, the cool thing is recently he's been getting into Blender and starting to play with Eevee and make some helmets and he's already doing some amazing work. So he sent me this this helmet model and he wanted to do a rendering in Eevee. So he's, he's got this turntable set up but um, I'll, uh, I'll go over some of the, the other setups so we can render out a, a movie from this. Alright, so uh, the first problem. 2.8 as of now, um, May 8th, 2018, does not allow animation for some reason. So you, so you have to do a little hack to get it working, which I found randomly by um, one of the comments on Pablo's Blender Today video by Mr. Critical Phil. Hmm, on a side note, blah blah blah, if you want animations, you need to enable copy on write. Thank you very much, Critical Phil. This this has been driving me crazy for the past like couple weeks. Is it, it doesn't work. And thanks for your words of encouragement. Um, okay, so now we gotta go to Blender Builds. Um, or sorry, builder.blender.org slash download. Download 2.8 and just uh, you got to make a shortcut you extract it somewhere and then you make a shortcut where is it 2.8 right click right click make a shortcut do do create shortcut there we go now I right click the shortcut properties blah 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 let's go to the end of this box spacebar paste in that enable copy on right apply okay and now when you open blender you should be able to hit i location move your timeline move your object i location and there it goes thank you very much it works so um yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on over there, but... Uh, so, first of all, you don't have to, but it would be nice to make sure that the cycle loops. So, right here, we can cut this down a couple frames till it's right on that last keyframe. And then now, it'll cycle through. And then after that, we can set the resolution to be... Let's just say, like, 75 for now. And then output, that's where the, the file will go. So, let me go back to desktop I always I usually check this relative path it's a really nice feature that lets make sure that all your files will um, let me call it blender met because that's what he calls it but anyway relative path makes the pathway relative to your blender file so that's always nice when you're moving stuff around onto different computers it'll keep your files file links and then PNG let's switch this to FF MPEG RGB high quality okay let me save this and I'll save it as this one so this file right here is 20.4 megabytes EV2223 but if we say compress and also remap relative I'll save it as numbers letter C and now it's gonna be only eight megabytes, which is really really handy. We're we're going to be rendering this in higher quality, so let's go into the screen space reflections, which is creating this this little noisy part here, and turn off half res, make the quality higher, maybe make this. Another thing we can do here is to help to help out these reflections is to add in a a reflection probe, so. Let's see, if we go here, let me hit, um, how do I do it again? Do, 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 do. I wanna reset my, my 3D cursor. So let me look for my 3D cursor here. 
I can hit T N to bring this up. Zero, zero, zero. I'm only doing this because uh, I want to reset my my 3D cursor. So let me look for my 3D cursor here. I can hit T N to bring this up. Zero, zero, zero. I'm only doing this because uh, all my hotkeys are broken now. But anyway, so our third 3D cursor should be back in the middle. I hope. Shift A. Light probe. Reflection. There it is. So this one we can put it here. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, next let's add in Shift A, irradiance volume. This one is super cool. It lets us um, generate global illumination for this. So you can see like some of the corners here, the border, the rim lights are getting lit up by this. Um, this uh, light map, light, what is it called? I don't know what it's called. Shift A, let's add in a plane, scale it up. And now you can see that this, these little spheres recalculate in this irradiance volume. And it's giving us a really nice bounce light from the, from the plane. So let's grab the plane and try a different material let's let's go like this I just love how it it's like painting this scene in real time so cool back here you can see it's like a little bit grayed out because it's it's falling outside of the bounding box of this thing so let me maybe scale it up a little bit and make sure we're enclosing the whole helmet Crazy. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right, there we go. And now um, I'm going to play around with the materials here. Sorry for, for ruining your your helmet man but I just can't resist so we have all these cool panels so this panel let's try giving this a new material call it SSS you know I love to play with the SSS um, and then crank that up let's change the subsurface color to something interesting And then down in the bottom, we have to turn this on and this. Oh my God. Okay, so that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. It looks so, it looks really soft and just, I don't know, weird alien. It has all this nice little color variation in it. And you can play with that over here. Crank up different colors so this is R G B red green blue and you can get different colors there man I love that subtle uh, shift okay um, I think that's all I wanted to do Let's give me a bonus. Crazy. Oh my god. I think it I like it better with the um, the rougher version. Okay. And what these would look like with the other assistants. Okay, hopefully that's good enough. All right, so let's go back here. Make sure all of our overlays are turned off. You can hit this one and then show overlay. And 
now go back into the camera view um, with zero on the numpad and then up on the top oh yeah we can change the shadows here let's let me save this again let's make a higher resolution shadow so this is going to start to get pretty slow probably Okay, let's do one more run through and just make sure that we're in the frame. Instead of hitting this one, it's going to be this little OpenGL render active viewport down here. Let's hit that. Damn it. Save it again just in case. And render. Okay, I'll be back in a second.